You heard the news yet, Lionel? We've got a group of campers arriving today. Oh, it's been so long. I know, last year didn't end too well. But we've nothing to worry about this time. Everything is ready. You're right, you're right. I should keep my guard up, stay vigilant. It won't lose any well if I get overconfident. I just can't help but get excited, Lionel. <laughs> You're excited too? <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> what is it? I don't know if she'll be coming. I can only hope. Oh, Lionel, I just can't wait. <laughs> You let me drive, we would already be there, because I wouldn't have parked so fucking far away. Well, there's a reason I drove and you didn't, Matt, so that we wouldn't end up in a tree. God, this hike is too much, though. I'm dead. Well, don't say things you don't mean. I almost cracked champagne. But you look fine. Hey, it's not my fault you decided to carry a literal hospital on your back, <laughs> along with 50 other bags. If one of the students gets hurt, you'll be grateful. Thank you very much. Besides, you didn't want to ask me for help. I did! Oh. <laughs> I said no. <laughs> you patted me on the shoulder and said, good luck. That doesn't sound like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. We're almost there anyway. Well, that's a feeling already. Well, that I'm sure your weak ankles will be able to carry you those 20 meters. And if you do trip and get hurt, that's everything you need. Right. Here. You're evil. I try. Now, get me, Mom. We don't want the campers to be there before us. Think we'll be fine. Let me be at your house at 5 a.m. Couldn't even pick me up. Only time you've been at a girl's house, that early. Ah, uh, uh, I was quite proud of that one. <laughs> I can tell. God. Is that the camp garden over there? No clue. What's his name? Alistair Roach. Alistair Roach? Heesh. You think he spotted us yet? I don't know. Hey, Roach! Yes. Don't worry. See? He's waving. Come on. <coughs> Did you see them yet, Lionel? They said they'd be here at 10 a.m. Of course they'll be coming. What do you mean they might have heard about the accident last year? Don't be so pessimistic, Lionel. I'm sure they just took a wrong turn at the wrong left tree. <laughs> They'll be here. They better be. Hey, Rose! That's me! <laughs> see, there they are, Lionel. <laughs> they can't see me talking to you, Lionel. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> I'll talk to you after I greet them. For now, fly! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Roach, I'm so sorry, really. It truly is a maze out there. I'm sure we're not the first ones that have gotten lost. <laughs> what? What have you heard? <laughs> what? What? Anyway, <laughs> I'm Max. This is Beth. We're in charge of the room campus for the weekend. I do hope we're the first ones to have arrived. I would hate for the students have to wait for us. Oh, don't worry. No one is here yet. No one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Where can we set up? Oh, yes. I'll show you where your cabins. If you would follow me. <laughs> hey. Here. Go ahead. I'm gonna stay here and wait for the others to arrive. Seriously? You're gonna let me be alone with Norman Bates over there? <laughs> Come on. 
No, don't tell me you're scared. I was alone in the woods with you. If I can survive that, I can survive anything. Well, in that case, don't let the poor man wait any longer. I'll be right back. Famous last words. My bad. The night darker. It might be what you're thinking, but singing is supposed to be busy when starting here. Capricorn is still. Oh my god, you're a Capricorn? What? My mom's a Capricorn. Oh, no, Capricorn nuts. And then the other one, Aries Rising. <laughs> I don't think we're talking about the same thing. Astrology? Astronomy. Isn't that like the same thing? <laughs> no. Well, whatever. Bye. The song is really cool, though. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is an Aries rising? <laughs> is this a Bible verse? You. Uh, hey, man. You with the intro cap? No. 
<laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> cool. I'm Max. This is Beth. Uh, and you are? Uh, Theo. Welcome. <laughs> Don't worry. We're gonna have fun. She's not always like this. Oh wait, she is. <laughs> but I'm here too, so you're in good hands. Ooh. You can just head over there to your cabins and we'll be right with you. Okay. We are not doing this. Oh, come on. That's funny. And true. Well, not just that. The comments, sure, but also you as a whole. <laughs> Never gonna do that again. <laughs> Please, you would love to do me. Oh, oh. Remind me, what year are you in? My fifth. And how many years does your bachelor have? All I'm hearing is that you're never going to get rid of me. No. You see, I'm done after this year. I'm going to finish my bachelor in three years. Okay, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to miss me. Well, if I ever want to come visit you in the next ten years, I know where you'll be. Ten years? That's optimistic. <laughs> Think you'll still be around by then? <clears throat> you are getting up there in age. I'm two years older, Max. You want me to wear black to your funeral? You are so not invited. But then no one will be there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're going to have to behave when the inspectors get here. Separate the business from the personal. I know that's hard for you, but try. Oh, don't worry about that. When they meet you, they'll understand. Of all of you by yourself, but they have to be. Just be happy you're not doing it alone. Then I just needed extra credit. Well, I'm not just doing it for the extra credit, okay? I don't need it. This could be the last year if it doesn't go well, Max. So please don't fuck this up for me. Uh, us. Everyone. <laughs> don't fuck this up for everyone. Have some faith. In you? So excited. <gasps> so much. It's students! <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Max. I'll show you to your cabins. Okay, so when no one's not allowed, please don't get mad. Will you make me mad? No. I brought my switch, so if things get too much, we could just ditch and play Mario Kart. Just the two of us? Just the two of us. Thanks. I'm from Mazi. Besides, I'm dying for a second gen on Rainbow Road. Really? After I beat your ass? Because my mom called me. That's so unfair. I want a rematch, and I will win so gloriously, you'll never want to play Mario Kart ever again. Hey, Elsie, what's up? Good. I think you sound down again. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Just tired, worried, nervous? Yeah, it's full of that. Do you think I made a mistake? A mistake? Do you think I overestimated myself? I think you finally believed in yourself. You could be so much more meaningful. How do you know that? I have a sixth sense for all things concerned. Also, Matthews, remember? <laughs> yeah, of course. How could I forget? And I'll be right there by your side if things are too much. Thanks. You can't leave me alone sometimes, you know? I don't want you to feel like you can't make friends because you have to be with me all the time. Well, dude, don't worry about any of us. I'll manage. Besides, who else likes Mario Kart as much as I do? Who else knows me like you? I can guarantee there will be nobody at camp that probably not with me. I'm glad you're here with me. Me too. Ready? Ready. I'm probably gonna join a theater committee. I mean, I have to, right? Are you thinking of joining any? Not really yet. I might next year, but fuck on school for now. That's fair. I love theater though. So if I were to join a committee, it'd have to be that one. Good job. You good? What? 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 What were you saying? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes, you were okay. You do seem a bit distracted. I... Yeah, I'm fine. There's just 
someone here who I was really hoping I'd never see again. Ooh, my ex. Ooh, did it not end well? <laughs> you could say that. That's funny. I hear a bunch of people come to Angel Camp every year in the hopes of hooking up with someone. But your problem is, you already did! <laughs> did you really do that? Oh yeah, what? You know I'm the lookout for a hottie. <laughs> hottie? No. I'm here to have fun, but not that kind of fun. I don't know, never say never. <laughs> do you think sometimes a curfew? A curfew? I don't think so, why? What does it matter why? We don't have a curfew. We're gonna be up all night, do crazy shit. Crazy? Like what? Anything, you name it, we can do it. Uh, like, knock on the door of the other cabin when they're all already asleep. Duh! Be in the woods together in the middle of the night? Sure! We're gonna have the best time! Yeah, we are, but, uh, can we get going now? The campfire hasn't started yet, but I don't want to miss some heads handing out the marshmallows. Ooh, we could make s'mores! I love s'mores! Alright, right, so guys, guys, come on! Uh, Entry 2. I've just surmised that there won't be a curfew at camp, so that's great. The skies have cleared up, so we should be able to sit in, so tonight should be a perfect night to do some stargazing. So I'll update you when the wiki starts. Hello! <laughs> Hello? Can I help you? Welcome! <laughs> Thanks. You're... you're alone? <laughs> yeah, the others were already outside and I was just about to go join them. Of course, of course. I'll go now. Yes, goodbye. <laughs> that did not go according to plan at all, I hope. Not at all. <laughs> and this is from last year when I was a camp counselor of 28 year olds. Wow, fascinating. I know, right? And we made some camp and all the kids really <laughs> want Do any of you guys have service? Are you gotta be kidding. There's no service? Are you serious? I never miss my day real. What's <laughs> that? My snap streak. I was supposed to call my mom every day before bed. No one. Um, you don't. Wait, what's happening? There's no cell reception. Oh, but that's not too bad, right? We're not supposed to be on our phones anyway. I, I guess. What are you doing anyway? Uh, nothing much, just writing stuff down. Oh, what kind of stuff? Just stuff. <laughs> anyway, I can't wait to get really started tomorrow. Max and Beth are going to have this whole schedule of activities planned out. We've been to a bunch of camps before, right? You don't usually do anything dangerous, right? <laughs> like pacing? <laughs> oh no, stuff! Oh no! Not usually. <laughs> what do you mean, usually? <laughs> What's that? What's what? Oh my god! I'm so embarrassed! <laughs> my mom is a bad day for me! What? Why? I certainly wasn't even my mind. Oh, really? <laughs> My girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend, used to have a bunch of stuffed animals in her bed. I never really got to hide it, but she wasn't the only one, I guess. Ooh, ex-girlfriend? You wouldn't happen to know her, right? The also Actually, she's here at camp with us. Ooh. It's, it's, uh, it's Freya. You've probably seen her around. Brown hair, two braids, green eyes. Freya? What's that? I don't know. Get awkward? No, I'm actually kind of glad that she's here. There's a bunch of stuff that I want to talk about. Hello. Uh, I just came to say, welcome, campers. So, welcome! <laughs> Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite and all that. There's bed bugs? 
no, 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 it's, it's just an expression. Please don't put that on your Yelp review. <laughs> hey, thanks for stopping by, sir. <laughs> yeah, something's definitely over there. We should probably go back outside, right? Campfire's starting soon. Oh, for sure! We don't want to be late! Touch the fire, you won't get any marshmallows. But then what will you use your hospital for? <clears throat> oh, come on. Can you please not do that? So, that's your ex? Yep. And you had a really messy breakup. Yep. And now I forgot the same camp you went to <laughs> to distract yourself from your feelings. Yep. Horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. I mean, at least there are the other happen, and they haven't tried to talk to me yet, so maybe I can just avoid them. What do you think you're doing? What? Why do you think I do anything to them? Well, you're avoiding them, but they're trying very hard to be seen by them. For the record, they broke up with me. I didn't do anything. At least, I don't think I did. Hey guys, you want to hear I'm just hearing a little something here? Oh, sorry. I just want to know. There's all the this. Just please go away. Rachel! Sorry. You can tell us everything. I don't think he's looking at you, bro. It's that Rachel girl. Did you see the look she was giving me? Yeah, that doesn't look too good. What did you do? That's none of your business. I'm not a bad person. Ah, uh, okay. Hey, Elsie, did she manage to find a special edition in Odyssey you were talking about the other day? Oh, no. Actually, I, I thought she'd be so happy to see me. She was probably just surprised to see me at camp, right? I should just go up to her now, right? Hey, I was wondering Girl, help me out. So what would you do? Where are they going, Annie? Ugh, wow. Yeah. Ew. And now she has me blocked on all social media, which she probably just didn't want to see how good I was doing, right? She'll totally be happy to talk to me again at camp, right? Um, I guess. Maybe you should just tell her how you feel. Yeah, I, I should. Thanks, yeah. So, they're not in the best of mental state, I suspect. <laughs> no. So. Okay. Because I'll either get really big red spots on my skin, 
or my throat will close up and I'll die. Hey, can I sit down here? Sure. Hi, Claire. Wait, I was wondering if you like stars because I <laughs> What is that smell? Maybe it's my deodorant? Those unspoken rules 
and different people with different expectations and that people always expect you to know exactly what to do all the time and when you don't, you stuck as a person. Exactly. I didn't know anyone else felt that way. Well, I have my fair share of insults thrown my way. I just never seem to say the right thing. People call me I'm too intense, but then when I try to tone myself down, I'm boring. Intense. I've heard that one a lot. Sometimes I just wish I was normal. I've given up on trying to be normal, to be honest. I have been, so I don't really care what anyone else says about me. It must be nice. I'm happy for you. <laughs> It was really cool. I like history, but learning from books just sucks. I prefer listening to people talk, so the story keeps going even when I get distracted. Would you be interested in like myths and legends? <laughs> oh my god, like the Percy Jackson books? I used to love those. Yeah, something like that. I can tell you some stories. That would be nice. Check the cabins. What's wrong? She said everything was fine and everyone was in their sleeping bags and had a great first day. That's bad. Sometimes I can't be trusted, you know. All 11 students were safe and sound in their beds. That we had 12 campers, Max. Remember the last minute sign up? God, how we messed this up so badly. Beth, please, what's going on? We lost one of the students, Max. Sorry. Did you just say we lost the students? Well, how can we have lost the students? We didn't even go anywhere. Great job at separating our business from the group, Beth. Well, well, that's horrible. But we weren't missing anyone from our cabin this morning. Neither are we. Are you sure that this counts? Or are maybe someone counts as <laughs> Thanks, Emily, but I think I know how to run my own camp. I was just trying to help. Calm down. We'll come up with a plan, okay? A plan? You fucked this up, Max. I'm really sorry, Beth. You know I'm bad at remembering names and faces. It's even worse than I let you think. But you don't want to know how long it took me to remember your name. And that's you. <laughs> You're an idiot. So what do we do now? Well, you probably know everyone by now. So who wasn't present at breakfast? Check the list. The list! The list! Oh my god, Parker. <laughs> I have no idea who that is, but they're definitely not here. Hi. So we finished breakfast and people were starting to get a little fidgety. So I thought she maybe she came to ask if everything was okay and if we can do anything to help. Thanks, guys. In which cabin did Parker sleep? Wait, who's Parker? The student we're missing. We're missing a student? I uh, really <laughs> hope they're okay. But they weren't in our cabin. They didn't sleep in ours either. You can trust me. I once won a memory contest. That is 
not the flex we think it is. <laughs> Maybe we should set up a search party. What activities did you have planned this afternoon? We can make it fun. Communication aside. Me and Beth are going to discuss this. Beth and I. It's just really a moment to correct my grammar. Come on. <laughs> names two weeks ago. You're just gonna have to deal. No switching, we're all adults. Anyways, I'm sorry that it's not as much of a scavenger hunt anymore, but priorities. Let's find Parker. <laughs> what did he look like again? We don't really know. <laughs> but if you see something, say something. Look, all jokes aside, there's a chance that they're hurt, so please look at the ground as well. I can't believe someone actually got lost. Would have been me. I don't want to go into those woods alone. You can hold my hand if you're scared. Really? Sure. <laughs> have fun. Stay safe. <laughs> well, great. It's okay. We can split up. We don't have to stay together the whole time. You probably won't even have to talk to them. Hey, Freya! Or maybe you do? I can stay with you. No, it's okay, thanks. I'll survive. Alright. Let's go, Oscar. What do you want? So, do you know the lost guy? Quit it, Casey. What's up? I, I just want to see if you want to, you know, talk like you used to. Chit chat. <laughs> Chit chat. Yeah, no, I don't think I want to do that. What? Why not? I mean, it, it used to be just us. You know, Freya and Casey, inseparable, unstoppable. Yeah, used to be. Until what happened again? Oh, right. You decided you didn't want to be an us anymore. Yeah, I know, Freya, but can't you just- on, Case. I picked up my stuff. Very cinematic. A cardboard box for some old sweaters, a plushie, and my toothbrush. You know you could have thrown that shit out, right? Freya. No, right, Casey, I do not know what you could have to say to me right now that would possibly not make this worse. I don't want to lose you. The thought of just cutting you out of my life after all these years. You're a part of me, okay? Don't call me that. And cut the bullshit. I spent four years of my life basically only hanging out with you. You're everything to me. I didn't know how to live without you. And then you left me in the cold with nowhere to go. No friends, because you never liked them. I gave up everything for you. No safe place to crash, my parents were fighting again. You left me all alone, wondering if I was even worth anything at all. Of course I'm not done yet. And then, I'm so excited to start with you, because I can finally go to a place where no one even knew about you and me, where I can just be me or whoever I want to be. And then, and then, I sign up for camp to get away from my parents and Holly, who is still asking when you come and see her, by the way, because you missed her seventh birthday. And even then, when I take a train all the way to the other side of the fucking country, there's still you. And, and not even a reminder of you, no, actually you. I, I don't know what to say. Well, then don't say anything. I just miss you. I. I just really want to wait, see wait, you wait. again. Is that why you came here? Was this a way to stalk me? I'm not stalking you. You just didn't answer my texts. <laughs> I, I didn't think I'd miss you this much. Well, maybe you should have stopped to think about that before you broke up with me. Now, please leave me be because I don't want to have to look at you for a while. I didn't sign up for camp because I knew you would be there. I was actually kind of hoping that I would meet someone here and that if you knew that, then maybe you would God, be jealous and that it. I love you. You know, if you had said that anywhere between May and a month ago, I would have come crawling back to you. I love you. Please, anything to make it up to you. 
and I love you. But I don't think I can. I don't think that I even want to. Parker! <laughs> He might actually die if he has to run around in the forest. Well, not literally die, of course. I hope. Relax. He'll be fine. He looks like he can take care of himself. Especially if he always takes care of you. Yeah, you're right. So, are you sure you don't want to take a look around, capture the flag? Be a hero? Oh yeah, I would absolutely prefer uselessly running through the woods over hanging out with you. Oh, I'm sorry. I was being sarcastic. So, what happened to Ariadne after Patience left her alone, even though she helped me slay the Minotaur? What? The story you were telling me yesterday. If we had had any reception, I would have already looked up how it ended in our box. But now you'll have to do the job. All right. So you know how Theseus said he would have white sails on the ship if he was alive, and he returns with that. See it? But actually, seeing guards. Man, I had to give my job to that scary cat. You mean Dolly? Finn, that's me. Sorry. <laughs> Are you guys gonna go and guard your flag? I'm the other team, remember? I don't really care. Oscar was telling me a super cool story. Were they? Yeah, Theseus, remember? I sure do. What's wrong? Nothing? Guys, we did it. I captured the flag. Whoa! Good job, man. I just did you take the care of this. Don't you guys feel like a bit weird playing for the game full of students and things? Not to mention, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> What's their name again? Peter? Parker. Spider Man? <laughs> what? You guys were talking about Spider Man. No, we were not. We're talking about the missing student. There's a student missing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he got stuck around there. Have you guys seen that woman in the woods? Woman in the woods? No. She talked to me. What did she say? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Can it be too important then? Or maybe I cried it. I think mean, it's strange and great. Ooh, I kind of do. <laughs> I'm hungry. What's my lunch? What the fuck was that? It was the witch! No, honey, that's you know. <laughs> I mean, the woman he saw. She kidnapped Parker! What? You heard Laura's story yesterday. They used to live a witch in these woods. She... No one ever saw her die. She ate children! We're shivers. I used to feel like a child! <laughs> exactly. We're barely adults. We're loud. And we made a fire. We disturbed the woods. And now the witch is taking her revenge. You can't possibly be serious, right? Please see your mom. I mean, all legends are based on true events. Are they though? What stood out to me was like creepy as dude coming into our cabin last night. What? You, don't you remember? This guy just dropped by to say hello and talk about bed bugs. <laughs> yeah. What? Why are you running around do something sparker? You would want to call him a creep. Yeah, sneaking into our cabins like that, but you didn't hurt anyone. You just said hello. I think we should investigate. Investigate? Yeah, that creep must be the owner of the house behind the campground, right? We should see him if he's done anything to Parker. That's ridiculous. More ridiculous than a witch? Well, I think... I'm gonna think go investigate with some free time. Who's joining me? Totally. That guy was a creep and weirdly smelled of... Italian herbs. I have a secret behind planning to cook Parker. Hands in incredible style. Oh god. Please no. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna grow up my stone up in the closet and write a letter to my mom. And are you gonna? 
actually, I kind of want to see what's up with this guy. I can't let him endanger the students. That'd be terrible for Max and Beth. It ruined Cal. Okay, I guess I'll see you later then. Well, I'm going to check out the birds. For the witch. Me too. Here in luck, I got all my little curses for the game. Good for the protection. Okay, <laughs> I brought an actual protection. <laughs> oh, damn! I, you almost forget everything I said about you earlier. I want you on my team. <laughs> oh, see? Are you coming too? We'll need your expertise. You don't have to. You can just stay with Darling, face a Murray card, safe and comfortable, just like that. Let's go find the witch! Let's go and take the cream! Whoa! Please put that away. You're not hurting anyone. What do you think we're gonna do? Just look around like you said. You're not seriously gonna attack an old man, right? But what if we actually hurt Parker? Yeah, I think you're crazier than us. Fine, okay then, but I'll go with them to make sure they didn't kill anyone and just fight. When is it justified? Let's go! When is it justified? <laughs> Reconciling the fact that someone wanted to date you in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> Two years? Damn. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> it wasn't all bad. Did you know I was going to be a camp counselor, Lucas? What am I saying? Of course you did. So as if never mentioned camp when we were together. Uh, is that where you're scared of? That I'm bitter. That I'm here to make sure that camp will be cancelled. Please, Ben. I am over it. Don't worry, you're a pretty little bit about it. God knows you have enough to worry about already. Okay, this is awkward. Max, <laughs> <laughs> we can't let Beth get all the attention. Please tell me something about yourself. What are your hobbies? <laughs> oh, you know, I don't really have any of those. <laughs> I like music. Oh, but what kind? The kind you listen to. <laughs> <laughs> the ones on Spotify? I'm just Apple Music. Ugh! <laughs> you should! What are you doing? I'm not looking Zoe over here make good life decisions. <laughs> well, we have other things to be doing. Yeah, well, that is great and all, but we're going to need someone to show us around the place. Max, you can show me around, can't you? Sure. Mm -hmm. And Beth, you can show me the cabins the students are staying at. Sure can. We'll see you guys later. Lead the way. Shall we go to them? Wait, Lucas? Were you serious about not being here to mess with me? Not everything is about you, Dad. I know. I, I know. Then what are you worried about? Come on. It's not like things ended well between us. No. You never did text me back, did you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
much that Pong is layer right now. Right. I can't see anything. God, someone turned on a light. Wait, let me try and find the light switch. Ah. That's more like it. Oh. Look at all the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is, is that? Is that for you? Seems to be. Marie stares into her soul. <laughs> Excuse me. What are you doing here, sir? No, blow Lionel, please. You can have anything. Don't hurt Lionel. Don't get me closer. <laughs> Where's Peter? Parker. Told me what quiet was. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Please just let Lionel go. Not until you, not until you tell us where he is, Mister. Who? The student you kidnapped. Kidnapped? No, I didn't kidnap anyone. Why would I do that? Well, I mean, someone brought me up here. I'm so sorry, sir. It seems we've made a mistake. Please don't tell anyone we were here. Please just let him go. You'll get him back if you promise you won't speak a word of what happened here. Okay, I, I promise. Not a beep. Okay. We're leaving. Yes, please do. Thank you. Come on, guys. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad you're okay. You are okay, right? Just a bit scared? That's okay, so was I. Please, I already said I wouldn't say anything. Alistair, what's going on? Phoebe? It's okay, Lionel. It's only Phoebe. What are you doing here? It's getting us medicine from you. What happened? It's nothing. It's fine. No, it is lying. Ow. Some campers were in here. And I'm not supposed to tell you or anyone for that matter. Which campers? Did they hurt you? I swear if they did, I'll do it. No, <laughs> they didn't. I, I guess that's right, Lionel. What? They didn't hurt me, but they almost hurt Lionel. They didn't. Punks! It's all right, Phoebe, it's okay. No, it's not. <laughs> anyway, you said you were here for some herbs and medicine? Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> How much do you need? Same as last time. No, wait, we could double. <clears throat> really? How come? Nothing for you to worry about. There <laughs> you go. I wish I could stay, but I really have to leave. You'll be back soon, though, right? Of course. Bye, bye, y'all. See you soon, Alistair. I'll see you. Come on, Lionel. Let's go to bed. No one where they're supposed to be. I don't know. This is getting ridiculous. I don't actually think there's a witch in the woods, right? Kidnapping and eating our students one by one? No, Max, I don't. But I've watched too many episodes of Criminal Minds not to consider what other people might be thinking. I'm sure they haven't even realized we're gone. Yeah? Think again. Where have you guys been? We, uh... What? Well, we don't really... Um, you, you don't know what you did. Well, we do. It's just gonna sound really bad. Oh, God. <laughs> what have you done? We kind of checked out to Camp Orr's house. What? We, we thought it might have something to do with Parker's disappearance. We were trying to help. Uh, by breaking into a man's house? I told you it was gonna sound bad. Sound bad? Oh, calm down, okay? Beth is right. What you guys did, you can't do that. <sighs> Especially with inspectors breathing down our necks. Inspectors? <laughs> What inspectors? There are some people here to check how everything is going and decide whether or not this will be the last intro camp. Oh no. I don't doubt that after their tour of the place, they notice that there are only 11 students when we're supposed to have 12. Shit. Yeah, so tensions are a little high right now. <laughs> Emily, don't! 
one of us will go find her. Please, just, just go to bed, okay? Yeah, okay. Oh, great, exactly what we need right now. Did I just see a spoon run off into the night? <laughs> Does it really seem like that animal thinks you're Elizabeth? Elizabeth? Come on, Lucas. We're all adults here. Students are allowed to go where they want to go. Right. Besides, I thought you weren't going to be a stickler. Not the word I would have used. Of course. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying facts. No harm in that. Speaking of facts, you're missing a student? That's above and beyond how royally I thought you fucked this up. I think I've seen enough. Uh, what do you mean? I was just coming to say goodbye. Great. Bye. <laughs> um, what are your conclusions? I can't tell you that, Beth. That would be unethical. Unethical. <laughs> but with a student missing, I'm sure you can guess what you're doing. Anyways, I'm sure I'll see you around again sometime. Max. Lucas! Zoe? Listen! <laughs> Our tires are completely flat. It looks like someone slashed them. What do you mean someone slashed their tires? One of their students did it. Well, I checked with the campground owner. What a creep, by the way. <laughs> the entire conversation, you wouldn't stop hugging this taxidermy crow. <laughs> anyway, there's no other campers here, so it has to be too bad. Uh, I, I mean, I heard there's bears in the woods. Bears? Who slash tires? That's the best we could come up with. <laughs> I'm sure our students were not responsible for it, okay? They're angels. <laughs> well, all I know is that we can't leave until tomorrow. And it's only company to come around. Looks like you two are gonna have to stay here for the night. Here, Lord, save me. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here again? Well, Buddy was allergic to my perfume, so my everything, really. Besides, I wanted to see how things are like in this cabin. I need to know this from TikTok. You have a TikTok? Yes, I have a lot of followers. You don't share everything with those followers, right? I share when my bowel movements are off. You bet I share everything. <laughs> Maybe leave out the fact that we're missing a student? Oh god, fine. Everyone's gonna love you. Me? <laughs> totally. You know, I'll take my time to make it out of my trap. Ha! <laughs> Poor Parker. Whatever they are, they must be so scared. I'm just imagining every possible scenario in my head. Oh god, don't do that. I'm still convinced Buzz is rich from your story, Lauren. Imagine being a witch. Imagine getting <laughs> eaten by one. Stop. I'm sure they're fine. Let's talk. Go to bed, okay? Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Can someone get the light? For sure. Good night, everyone. Good night. This is nice. Yeah. <laughs>
I am telling you, Lucas is going to try to ruin all of this for us. Us? That's new. I just don't get what he's hoping to accomplish by trying to be civil. I noticed just a second. His text made that very clear. He texted you? No, I mean, when we broke up. Although, thinking about it now, I guess we never officially did break up. What? I sort of ghosted him and stopped <laughs> responding to texts. After two years of dating, <laughs> you just stopped talking to him. Damn, Beth. You're evil. <laughs> <laughs> I know. God, I can imagine so many ways that you would ruin everything. Never did I imagine I was going to be the reason Ken would get cancelled. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Look, I'm sure everything's going to be fine. Apart from the fact that they know Parker's missing. He said he was over it, right? You have nothing to worry about. I can't wait to see the look on Beth's face when I tell her that her dreams are crush. <laughs> I can't wait to see Max's face. <laughs> wait, she fucked me over. Did she really think I would be civil? You're right. I'm sure everything will be right. How about those slash tigers, huh? I guess it will spoil them delivering their review a little. How much would it really help? I can't believe I tried to convince them the bears that slashed their tires. Not one of your best moments. <laughs> Can you believe bears slashed our tires? <laughs> Just my look. Are you serious? Obviously, one of their students did it. Hey, what do you think of Max? Max, <laughs> I don't like him. You don't? I was kind of thinking of asking you out. <laughs> Yes, do that. Amazing. I will. <laughs> what are you talking about? She is not into you. She totally is. <laughs> you're delusional, Max. So you're jealous. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I'm not jealous. I'm just trying to manage your expectations. Well, let me try to manage yours. I know you're really hoping this will all end well, and who knows? Maybe it will, but I also think you should be prepared for the worst case scenario. I, I thought you said everything was going to be fine. I know I did, but I think you shouldn't get your hopes up, Beth. You'll just be let down. We've been delayed, so. But you can't stop the inevitable. This will be the last thing you can. If it's the last thing- too bad, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> So is his dead pro, which apparently is like his best friend. No way. Yeah, I know, right? He got Lionel and he got so scared. I don't want to say it's funny, but it kind of was. Finn, I am not telling you this again. That was really not okay. Sorry. Anyway, then Emily got her knife. Emily got a knife? Yeah, this literally got a knife. Emily has a knife. Oops. Please don't snitch on me. Are you afraid of Emily? No. A knife. Excuse me. A knife? Does someone here have a knife? No. But Finn just told. <laughs> Where's next? Poor <laughs> little Ben. All alone to take care of everything herself. I am not alone. And even if I was, I can't take care of everything. I've got it all under control. No offense, but do you truly think that? <laughs> it doesn't matter, Beth. Your camp was doomed to fail. I knew it! You are here to ruin Ken! You two are just here to make me miserable! Well, I only came for the extra credit, okay? <laughs> God, Lucas, do you ever hear yourself speak? I know you're bitter, but doesn't part of you get why I broke up with you? Well, broke up 
is an overstatement. Hi. Oh, look, your missing student came back all on her own. Missing student? <laughs> That's not our missing student. That's just studying for the job magician bit. You can make students disappear and materialize women. I feel like I'm interrupting something. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Oh, I'll come back later. Ow! Shit, hide me. Okay, well, besides that. <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, Mr. Rose, hi! I'm finally here. Come on. I have a complaint to make. I know, I heard about my campers coming to visit you. Visit? They broke you! Oh, for our last breakfast, try to sit with someone you haven't really spoken to yet. <laughs> Good morning to you too. Fantastic vibes in here. <laughs> What's going on? Hi, Dad. Can you help me out here? Hi, Miss Roach. Can I help you with something? Uh, who is that? That's the guy that I'm threatening with our knife. Excuse me? Not only does one of your students have a knife, but actually threaten someone with it too? In her defense, do you know where you threaten him? She just held his knife really close to dead bird. <laughs> <laughs> How could they leave him alone in these strange times? No, it's okay. You can do this. Stand up for yourself. I don't know, but the life is still roaming around out there. I have to go save him. Ow, wait! <laughs> yes, it's, it's fast, Max, but... can you help me with my necklaces? I just put moisturizer on my hands. Uh, sure. <laughs> so, Lucas, I'm so sorry I heard such a lust for you. But that doesn't give you the right to come in here and ruin camp for everyone. Wait, are those you were telling me about? Did Emily also have a room? Excuse me, I'm also here. Yeah, <laughs> they are the inspectors. They are here to see if camp is going well. If not, camp might be cancelled forever. Don't worry, guys. I won't. That's not your decision to make, Elizabeth. Still not over, Elizabeth. <laughs> Admit it. You fucked up. Your camp fail will never happen again. It's you have no You have no friends, no boyfriend, and you can't even control a group of first year students. I I I have everything. I'm on it. Please just uh, have breakfast, chill a bit. Are you okay? Can you stop that? I'm so sorry, Emily. It's okay. I'm okay. Uh, but um, do you think you can? I'm on it. Later. Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, continue. <laughs> hey, Yossi, can we talk about that? What's up? Hey, Yossi. <laughs> I'm not hungry. Wanna go check my notes again? Can we talk after come? Thanks. Yeah, sure, I'm fine. I don't need you. Can you guys help out a bit? If you're here anyway. <laughs> oh, I have to do everything around here. <laughs> Talk to me. Sorry, am I interrupting your game? No, but Juliet, shouldn't be with Oscar finding a witch. Actually, that's one that, what I wanted to talk to you about. The witch? You know I don't believe in that crap. No, I mean Oscar. You guys are friends, right? Best friends. 
Yeah, they made that quite clear. They did? Yeah, they talk about you a lot. It's really cute. Is it true that they once broke your nose so they, you don't, didn't have to go to PE? In my defense, that beep test would have been a death for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you really can run. Did you see me during Hats of Fly? Or is it basically even harder as the Oscar? Uh, well, Kidding, don't worry. Oscar actually talks about me? Yeah, constantly. I hadn't expected, expected them to be so talkative and passionate, but once you get them going about something that they love, they don't stop. Well, you know. Yeah, I do. I kind of wish I was the one who would ramble through this weekend. Sorry, God, I should have left with that. I didn't realize that you need them as much as they need you, and I'm sorry for taking that away from you. Thanks, but you're not taking them away from me, it's their own choice. I know, but I should have been more considerate. People always tell me that, you know? I never understood what they meant, but now you're hurt because of me, and I've hey, ruined- Hey, 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 it's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry for being so annoyed with you. I always thought that nothing would change after secondary school, and I would forever be someone I couldn't live without. You are, though. I didn't realize how much you meant to them until they showed me the drawings in their notebook. It's Wait, beautiful. they showed you their notebook? Yeah, yesterday, when we came back from the woods, and you guys were still doing illegal stuff. <laughs> Why does everyone keep going on about that? <laughs> because it's insane. Okay, maybe a bit. But more important, Oscar's notebook? Yeah, they were being a bit weird. Talking us softly and taking me to their bunks. They've never shown anyone their notebook. Not even me. Oh. I think you're special, Juliet. I won't ask what you saw, don't worry. Juliet! So, we can be friends? Yeah, I think we can be friends. I will tell Oscar. They'll be so happy. Wait, you do it. I'll talk to you later. <coughs> there you are. Want to explain what just happened? Sorry. You shouldn't be telling me that. I'll apologize to Emily as well, but you deserve to hear it too. While I still think you're completely irresponsible, you're not entirely incompetent. I'm great, coming from you. <laughs> I'm also sorry for losing time. Hey, you didn't ruin anything. Please, you heard what Lucas said. He hates me, with good reason. And now that's what's going to get camp cancelled. I mean, the missing student thing probably also has something to do with it. <laughs> yeah, but they disappeared on our watch. True. Can I ask you a question? What? I'm serious. Don't make me regret it. Sure. Why does camp mean so much to you? What are you talking about? I mean, it's kind of obvious. There's just something about intro camp that's really important to you. Yeah. I guess it is. Why? I went to intro camp my first year at university. Things were great at home, and I was desperate for some time away. At home, it was cold, but... At camp, surrounded by all these other students, I felt warm again. I felt happy. <laughs> the next year, I, I decided I wanted to feel that way again. But more importantly, I wanted to help others who might be dealing with the same shit I was to feel that way. It was supposed to be like that this year too, but then... Your ego disappeared, student disappeared, <laughs> and you got stuck with me. <laughs> To be honest, you're kind of the only thing that's keeping me from completely falling apart right now. Oh god, I'm a mess. Hey, you're not a mess. 
You put a lot of work into this. I don't think you noticed. Well, I didn't do shit. Yeah, well, what good it's gonna do me. I'll talk to Lucas, okay? See if I can get him to change his mind. <coughs> do that? I thought you preferred talking to Zoe. I mean, sure. It's Lucas is an ass to you. You're being very nice to me. Why? It's out of character. <laughs> I thought you hated me. I could be civil to people I hate. <laughs> Wait, Beth. I don't hate you. I, I promise you, everything's gonna be okay. But we, we should <laughs> we probably go talk to Lucas then. And look for Parker again. Right, right. Uh, we have shit we need to do. Uh, priorities and stuff. Priorities? <laughs> Parker? lunch with us? With all of us? You can tell us about your big adventure. <laughs> yes, please tell us all about the stars you saw. There were so many, it was amazing. He <laughs> helped with pain. I'll root for it. Al? Alistair? The owner of these grounds? Oh, the roach. I'm so, so sorry about that. Thank you so much for finding her and taking care of her. Well, I'm sure you didn't mean for all this to happen. Please look out for each other. Keep on wondering what they look like, you know. Dig a little deeper. She's such a bright kid. And so fun. 
funny when you have a good conversation with her. And Al, I know he looks scary. And that light all makes him appear weird. <laughs> but all he needs is a friend. Yeah, you're right. I guess that's what everyone needs. Companionship. Well, I'll be on my way now. Enjoy your last name, beautiful forest. Thank you again. What? Nothing. Why are you looking at me like that? Just you taking leadership all of a sudden. I'm so sensitive. Thought I might just show I care for once. <laughs> wow, you actually have feelings. <laughs> hey, please don't talk. I was so sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry for being all up in your business and for, for threatening the bird. I <laughs> hope Cat doesn't get cancelled. And, and then if it does, you two are not to blame. You guys did great, Emily. Wait, wait, I have one more confession to make. When when I found out the inspectors were here to mm, possibly ruin Cat, I might have overreacted and maybe slashed their tires. <laughs> and I am so, <laughs> I am so sorry for screaming at you. And how I acted this whole week, and to be honest, I. I'm not a great role model. I actually think you know a lot more about this stuff than I do. <laughs> Maybe a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you're great. <laughs> if Kemp doesn't get cancelled next year, I want you on my team. <laughs> I'd be honored. <laughs> oh, and hey, if you have an idea for the group, go on, do it. Oh my god, thank you! I will! Show them what you got! Come on, guys! This way! <laughs> I didn't see Lucas and Zuri's scar in the parking lot when we walked past that earlier. Didn't you left? Probably. I pride myself on being able to be level-headed, you know? I do know. But Camp does mean a lot to me. It means so much to me that it made me feel stressed and unsure about every single decision I made. I'm feeling too many things at once and I can't understand any of them. I'm confused. I'm never confused. <laughs> Maybe I can help? Try to dissect some of the things brewing in that big brain of yours? I think you just called me smart. <laughs> I mean, sure. You're the smart one. I'm the cool one. <laughs> I'm sorry. The cool one? Duh. We're Max and Beth. The iconic... Oh, what? Cool for who? Max and Beth. Mm, no, no, no. That's not what you said. You said Max and Bath. <laughs> you call me Bath. And mispronounced your own name. You've had that for 23 years. In my defense, I haven't been speaking for 23 years. <laughs> you said Max and Bath. <laughs> bath and Waterworks. <laughs> Max Bath and Beyond. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Sentiment remains. I'm confused about a lot of things too. Always. For me, that's not rare. This weekend helps clear some things up for me, though. You used to confuse me, but for Max and Beth, I'm not confused about you. Not anymore. not being a good role model. I don't agree. Were you on your best these past few days? Hell no. All right, and we're back to- Listen, you weren't on your best, but I know you, despite what you might think. You were stressed and you snapped a few times and you shouldn't have, but come on, with the amount of shit we had to deal with from the inspectors and from the students, anyone would have kind of lost it. You didn't. You stayed steady. That's what I'm here for. 
Now, let's get back to the students. <coughs> Make sure they're not getting up to too many shenanigans. Ooh, maybe Emily started a call. right? Looking for some mushrooms, wild garlic. I figured I might stumble across some berries and I was really lucky. I, I thought I might see a fox or a deer, not an actual human being laying in a heap on the ground. Oh, that's awful. So I find this kid, Parker, and took her home with me, put her on the couch, gave her an ice pack, and then when she woke up, I made some soup. The, the hazelnut one? You know it. I'm sorry. I don't have any leftovers. I know it's your favorite. I'll bring some wine next time I make it, okay? That would be marvelous. Why are you expecting to me? I'm saying of course not. I'm sorry. 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 I'
Hello. Can we help you? Uh, yeah. We're you're from Mr. Roach. Hold on. Are you the whole guys that broke into this place and have Lionel hostage? Yes, yes ma'am. <laughs> you have some nerve showing up here. It's all right, Phoebe. I'll talk to them. <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> I want to apologize. What? <laughs> I appreciate that very much. We're oh, sorry. We were scared when Parker went missing. But that doesn't justify us breaking in and blackmailing you. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. Do you want some tea? Um, actually, uh, we're going to be heading out soon. The others are already gathering up. Uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, you should all come back here at some point. Maybe for next year's camp, you can all stay here again. Wait, you want us to come back? Well, sure. Why not? After all we did? Oh, that. <laughs> well, it can't be as bad as what those all other campers did the last time. It was worse than what we did. What happened? Oh, you don't want to know. It was bad. <laughs> right, Lionel? <Lionel? laughs> <laughs> We're missing a student. What? I'm kidding. Eleven, right? Yes. We're complete. Twelve happy campers. Well, eleven happy campers. Casey looks downright depressed. <laughs> so then we're ready, right? I think so. Let's go get them a good send off. We should go. Alright, everyone, if we could get your attention, please. Right. We would like to thank you all so much for being here. We hope that despite everything that happened, you all still managed to have some fun, or at least get to know each other a bit better, make some friends. Exactly. Now, usually we would ask you all to consider becoming a camp counselor for next year's intro camp, but since we don't know if that's going to be happening, <laughs> we'll just leave it for now. Wait, what? It's a whole thing. It's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. That goes for all of you. Don't worry about intro camp, okay? If camp gets cancelled next year, it's not gonna be because of anything you did. Even the people from AA? I'm sorry, Alcoholics Anonymous? anti anti Pretty much. What's Alice there? Dude, you missed a lot of stuff, okay? <laughs> Accept it! <laughs> Even the people from the anti Alice group, yes. <laughs> Poor guy. We apologize. All right, well, uh... Daddy! Is that... Oh, God. <laughs> I think it's my mom. <laughs> is it time for pick a board ready? Oh, I guess it is. Uh, all right, then. We'll let you go for now, but we hope to see you around on campus the upcoming year. Right. See you all. Have a safe journey home. All right, bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for the amazing weekend. I had so much fun. I can't wait to you see you on campus. So Oscar and I drove it together, but we want you to join us. That would be great. Good Parker, we maybe also get to ride with us. Yeah, sure. Awesome. You need a ride? Really? You can tell us all about your time with the witch in the woods. Oh. 
Thanks, Ben. No problem. Thanks, ben. Some of the students stopped to look at some Zoe. One of them was Emily. She can be very persuasive. <laughs> I just hope that if this year really is the last, at least it was a camp to remember. It was certainly a camp to remember. Yeah, but for all the wrong reasons. It's not being so negative. A lot went wrong, but I'm sure most of the students went home with more than they came with. I know I will. Yeah, me too. 